everybody, welcome. Andrew Ains of Golf Academy, as always, a warm welcome to everyone watching today in the world. Exciting day for me today. I've been waiting to review this product for some time now. Without any further ado, it's the Ping G400 iron. I saw the, um, the samples of this some time ago from my rep about a month ago, and I've just been counting the days until I could get my hands on it and actually hit it. And, and tell you guys and girls a little bit more about this club. The first thing to say about the Ping G400 is this is not the Ping G, just redesigned uh, with a few sort of subtle touches here. The G400 I think has been built from the ground up and there is some groundbreaking technology in here which I don't think we've seen in any other golf club before. So very exciting. Um, let me tell you a bit about it. There's an awful lot to talk about here, so I'll try and not bore you to death. Um, if you just want to go to the Ping website and get all the details, you can skip on from this bit if you want and just get to the hitting bits in a bit. But uh, let me just try and give you an interesting oversight on how this club works. So a few bullet points for you. We have got in the G400 iron some face flexing technology, which launches the ball very fast and high okay we've got multi-material which flexes like a catapult we've got the core eye technology here we'll flash up some images but this is the core eye which we saw on the G we also saw it on the G uh, Max as well it's been refined and there's all sorts going on in here which propels the ball off there We've also got a new innovation called top rail undercut so right at the top of the club here, it's got it undercut and this again has um, real effectiveness on launching the ball higher so we're not only getting higher ball speeds we're getting the ball launching a little bit higher as well what else have we got we've got this hydro pearl chrome finish which we see on the i200 and also on the i blade so this is now the uh, the theme this is the look it's a very attractive look is this hydro pearl chrome finish it's not just there to look pretty it reduces the friction by 40 percent um, in wet conditions which will improve the launch and spin and possibly be negate some flyers coming out of rough We've got a clean look. The head's made from a hyper 17.4 stainless steel, which increases strength by 40% over the G and allows the face to become more flexible, which is gonna give us higher ball speeds. Amazing, a lot of tech going on in here, isn't there? We're sticking with the AWT steel shaft. There is a brand new graphite shaft out called the Alta CB. And I think what I'll do is I'll do a separate review on the graphite shafts. We'll just stick with the steel today. AWT is ascending weight technology. And in a nutshell, shafts are a bit lighter in the longer irons. They get progressively heavier as you move into the short irons to help you get a little bit more club speed in the longer stuff. Seven iron specs 37 inches long, which is the same as the G's. Lofts have inc increased, decreased even a little bit, not by much. The loft on the G was 30.5 in a seven iron. Loft on the G400 is 30. So we've gone half a degree stronger. Um, I can see why they've done that. You'll see when I start hitting some balls later, probably half a degree is not, it's pretty normal these days. 30 degree lofts on seven irons is about the norm. There are some brands out there where they're seven irons down at 28 degrees. So, you know, I don't knock ping for strength in the loss because it kind of brings them in line with, with some other brands, but there's a reason why they've done that, which I'll talk to you about later. Six custom fit steel shaft options. We have got uh, Project X, we've got Modus 105s, we've got KBS Tours, we've got an XP95, we've got Dynamic Gold S300, so lots of custom fit options. Here's an interesting one. For the first time, they've actually gone away from their Ping own brand clubs and they are fitting as standard on these Tour Velvets. They're still going with the pink color code so that we get the different thickness grips, but they've gone to the Tour Velvet. And when I asked my rep why they've done this, um, I didn't realize 75% of Tour Pros choose to use the Golf Pride Tour Velvet grip. So they've had it made by Tour Velvet, uh, Golf Pride, 
um, but we still get the color coding on the top here to signify if it's white or gold so that we know what thickness it is. So that's a little bit of a, of a change from ping. They've always, I think the grips were made by Golf Pride, but they've always had them stamped up as ping. So that's what they've decided to do. Anyway, enough chit chat. We're gonna get in the hitting area, hit some shots with a seven iron and uh, look at the numbers. Let's get in the hitting area and uh, put the G400 through its paces. Right everybody, I've hit some shots with a new Ping G400 and to say I'm impressed is a bit of an understatement. You know, I hit a lot of golf clubs in my line of work and some clubs impress me, some clubs don't and others leave me just feeling, ah, they're okay. I am completely impartial when I make these comments. This is the best Ping iron I've ever hit in terms of forgiveness, the way it looks, the distance, the drop off I got when I mishit it, the performance is outstanding. Let's have a look at some numbers. By the way, I would never buy a golf club just purely on distance numbers. Um, we all know what's going on with modern golf clubs. You know, we're turning seven irons into six irons, blah de blah de blah We're making the club longer. People say, oh, I'm hitting my seven iron 190 yards. Well, guess what? Your seven iron's really a five iron. You know, we're not being fooled by this. We know the loft on this is slightly on the strong side. It's 30 degrees of loft, which has almost become um, a modern sort of normal sort of loft at 30. Let's have a look at some numbers. I was swinging it quite quick today, uh, for me anyway. Um, club speed was averaging um, just under 90 miles an hour, sort of 88 miles an hour club speed. Um, my spin numbers were averaging at about 4.8. 5,000 around about that sort of number. Quite a low spinning club. That's really to do with the loft. I was using a Bridgestone uh, to a golf ball, the 330 ball, which works really well for me. My carry numbers, as you can see here, were pretty consistent. I did put one out, a couple out there towards the end, which were quite long. 174, 173, 171, 177, 178. That giving me an average of what is that, about 175. Now that's a long carry for me with a seven iron, very long. Dispersion was good. I wasn't spraying the ball around too much. All finished slightly left of target there. That, that's me rather than the club. What I did feel with this golf club is it was very forgiving. It was very much a confidence building golf club. You know, I would quite happily stick these in the bag and, and play with them. I don't mind the sort of the, the slightly chunky sort of sole to the club here. I don't mind the size of it. All I'm bothered about is something which I can hit easily. I don't pick the golf clubs up very often these days. So when I do get a chance to play golf, I want something that's easy to hit, forgiving, long, uh, fun to hit. And this golf club definitely ticks all the boxes. The spec on this, I think I might have told you, I can't remember if I did, it's a standard um, black dot. I have got the AWT steel shaft in stiff, standard length, standard lies, standard grip, just completely standard. Lots of different shaft options and in the, the coming months I will be doing custom fit uh, videos with all the different shaft options. I'm also going to be doing some video at uh, some slower swing speeds. I'm going to be seeing what happens if we swing the club at sort of 75 to 80 miles an hour, maybe with a regular shaft for you guys and girls which are swinging it at that sort of club speed. It's all well and good, you people watching videos like this where people like me or other guys are swinging it, you know, at 95 miles an hour, but hey, what about the speed you're swinging it at? That's more important, isn't it? So there will be some reviews to come on that, uh, reviews on the graphite shafted version, but hey, ping, G400, if I had a hat on, I would take it off and tip my hat to you. You've come up with an absolute great golf club here. Anyone who's in the new iron market, go and hit this fella, you will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching, post your comments down below um, and I'll see you all soon, bye for now.